The World Cup has put Brazil's vibrant culture on full display. It's food, it's music, and it's beaches. But there's another side of Brazil that's tucked in the shadows, a grim reminder that it's not all soccer and samba, and it can be found just steps away from the stadiums. Young teens, even children, looking to sell their bodies for a few dollars. Tonight, senior correspondent Susan Ormiston on the roots of Brazil's dark side. Poverty is no game. <laughs> On the strip in Recife, the World Cup means business. Rich tourists with money to spend on hospitality. Lured here to this coastal city for surf and soccer, but beyond the match, many looking for something else. Sex. Easy enough to find, any taxi driver will show you. We have the best girls in Recife, this one boasts. Street workers are seizing the moment. 120,000 tourists, mostly men, are expected in this city alone. The going rate? 100 Brazilian reais, about $50. But for gringos, it's 150 reais. Prostitution is legal in Brazil, but sex with a minor is not, and there are plenty of teenagers selling. Can you get younger girls? Maybe I can get you one or two. Brazil is already known for its sex tourism. The World Cup is expected to pump up demand. The combination of passion, sport, booze and women, or girls, can get ugly. And this country already has one of the worst records for child sex exploitation. And sometimes they are 12 but they have a, a body of 18 or 19. So we want to protect this, these kids. Rubia Uchoya works with teenage girls, pregnant or mothers already. This shelter, the girls' house, just opened, sponsored by a charity called Happy Child International. Uh, some people think that Brazil is a very liberal country in this, the sense of sex. So they come to Brazil not just because uh, football, or because of beer or because of the beach, but because they think that sex would be easy here. Do you think that some girls do think this is, they'll make more money because of the World Cup? Sadly, I, I, I have to say that yes. Because they know that uh, this, this gringo, as we used to call them, are coming and they have money. Oh, look at this, already. Brenda's 15. We can't show her face. Like any teenage girl, she loves clothes, especially the cute little outfits for her baby, due in August. Given away at birth by her own prostitute mother, Brenda started in a brothel at age 10. She's been in group homes and on the street ever since. Why do girls stay in the streets? Sometimes because they were abandoned by their mothers. Others are addicted to drugs and can't go back home, so they start to steal. Some become prostitutes because their mothers want them to make money. Do you like it here? I like everybody who works here, and it's the only house I know that is able to support a girl with a baby. Recife is the capital of one of Brazil's poorest regions. Away from the city center, there's a sad little spot nicknamed Suck Corner. In the bushes, a drug shack. On the street, girls troll for clients all day. Sex here earns about 15 reais a turn, $7. Hey. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Como você se chama? Natalia has just been with a client in the bushes. She tells us she began working at age 12. At 21, she's just had her second baby and she's high on crack. Our translator, Marcela Canavera, tells me a little more. And I asked if she's working to support her kids, and she was like, I'm not going to lie, I'm working for drugs. A two minute drive from here, the government department meant to protect children. By the looks of the building, resources here are scarce. Pedro Eurico is the Secretary of State for Children and Youth. 
We are worried about the fact that many times tourists come to Brazil to exploit our adolescents. We can't let them act like this. Some people say that, in fact, there isn't enough enforcing the law here. It's going to be applied. Sexual crime has recently become a major crime in Brazil. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. A new video on some flights coming to Brazil features a warning from soccer stars. Remember, 17 or under, it's a penalty. And a reminder that sex with minors can get you busted at home. It's a penalty. But foreigners are not the only clients. Pushing girls into sex for money is a sad reality for many poor Brazilians. The World Cup just shines a light. We went with social worker Fernando Biasoli to a favela to see the intersection of sex and poverty. In a shack, we find a five-month-old baby and her mother. We can't identify her. Jeanne is 15 and beautiful. She started sex working at 10. Who's the daddy? He's in jail for trafficking. After he was arrested, I had to sell my body to support my baby. I'm afraid of being hurt. But the $50 she can bring in a night, even without the World Cup tourists, is too tempting to support her family at 10. Our last night in Recife, Fernando Biasoli takes us to a downtown square, run down and taken over by homeless teenagers and a few adults. Almost everyone clutches a plastic bottle, pulling it up to their nose and mouth to inhale the glue, almost, including Rita, who is very pregnant. She tells us she's in pain. She thinks her baby's coming soon. We can feel it kicking. Rita's maybe 18. She has another child and no house. They live day by day. They live today and tomorrow is another day. This girl Caroline posing for us with a friend is 14. She's been on the street since age six. Her mom is in drug rehab. Caroline doesn't prostitute right now, she says, because she has a boyfriend. A jealous one. Abuse is not just sexual. What does the World Cup mean to people here in this square? To some of them, nothing. To others, maybe dollars and cell phones to steal. To the girls, maybe some extra money. With no intervention, the next generation of Brazilian girls is at high risk, like Victoria, in the care of her surrogate mother, Yara, since she was a baby. At six, this is her neighborhood. What's the chance that she will not end up on the streets? If Yara keeps Victoria at school, maybe she can get off the streets. If not, Victoria could be tempted to turn tricks as a teenager in Brazil's growing sex tourism trade. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Recife, Brazil.